being a Husky alum and having played four years on the golf team a long, long time ago, I've taken a, a strong interest in the golf team over the years. And watching Brock's performance and his leadership uh, was really special. I got a chance in Brock's first year to really coach him in that maturation process coming from a superstar junior golfer and then growing into eventually a superstar uh, college golfer. And being able to go through those things with him was a joy for me as a coach. Odie got the program going in a huge way. After they finished fourth in 1999, going on this tour of Eastern Washington and recruiting Dan Potter and Corey Prue and Brock McKenzie and taking this fourth place trophy, Brock committed at that time and I got to come in right after he committed and coach him all four years. Brock was the, really the first superstar, um, in my opinion, in the era of Husky Golf to choose to play for us. Well, the impact that he had, there's been other players that have come after him and have done amazing things too, but he was kind of the first. He's the reason so many others came behind. He validated the program, played in the Walker Cup, played in the Palmer Cup, and became four-time All-American, winning tournaments, playing all the biggest tournaments, known by all the best players, but it made it more acceptable for anybody to come to Washington and achieve big things. He really put us on the map, and he did it not just for one year, but four years. He is one of the most gifted ball strikers that I've ever been around in my life. I tell stories about Brock all the time still to my players. I learned a lot from him about how to play and how to get yourself ready to compete. Anytime he plays, he's gonna, gonna have a chance to, to win. He's just such a good golfer. One of the things that comes to mind is uh, Brock's performance uh, in the Walker Cup. Uh, the highest honor that an amateur golfer can receive is to play for the United States on the Walker Cup, which he did uh, over in Ireland. And uh, I was not able to attend, but I still have the tie that he sent me from that event. You know, I think the strongest feature in his golf game is that he's just incredibly accurate. Day after day, tournament after tournament, he's in the middle of the fairway, he's on the green. He and I always talk about a two iron hit on hole seven uh, at Stanford that just he hit this shot into the par five. It was the most beautiful thing and he just looked up at me and I looked up at him and it had sounded differently and looked different than anything we'd ever seen and we both knew that that was a shot that, that was really special. It's funny that it's just one shot on one hole that he and I connected so much on talk about. I think it's significant that Brock continues to represent the UW as he plays on the PGA Tour and uh, I talk to him uh, frequently and he stays in touch with alums and uh, I think he frequently is wearing, wearing purple out there. Brock is more than deserving to be in the Hall of Fame. I also think that Brock is probably sharing this honor with his teammates um, that also brought so much with them, but that class as a whole was so significant to everything that, uh, that we built. Uh, but really Brock and, and the players that have followed him, I give, I give that class and Brock a lot of credit for being really the first people that believed in, in staying home and, uh, and, and building this program that's become such a powerhouse over the years. Congratulations Brock on your induction to the Husky Hall of Fame, a well-deserved honor.